So you know those ideas that you have that are incredible, so you, you build on them, they snowball, they become this really huge thing, and then they seem insurmountable. This video was one of those things. How do? Hi. Hello, welcome back to another video. It's Alan Bart here from Trio Stories. Today we're talking diffusion filters. Black diffusion, to be specific. That sounds really boring, but it's not. Because you've probably seen these things used in your favourite TV shows. Peaky Blinders, Queen's Gambit. Stranger Things. The Crown. Riverdale. Very powerful tool that we've been excited to try for so long. Where are we going with this? Do you know what else looks so damn good? This one. So, diffusion filters. If you don't know what they are, they are filters. And they create this cinematic, dreamy, hazy vibe. Black diffusion essentially diffuses light sources in particular. Your shot is still going to be in focus. It's not like a soft focus look, but it gives specifically the lights and the light sources a very nice halation. ambient halation glow. So basically what's happened is We've been demanding amazing cameras for, for years and now cameras are just too good and they're too sharp. Where are you going? And nobody wants that sharpness anymore. They want this filmic look. So enter diffusion filters. Enter the diffusion filters. Oh, enter the diffusion filters. We are gonna be trying out these bad boys from k &F. They are the black diffusion quarter and half. So using these diffusion filters, we're gonna go out and create this super cinematic, dreamy, hazy, all Chloe. those keywords that make content go viral. This was actually my second favorite choice. I wanted to create a full-blown rap production, you know, G-Wagons, massive golden chains, track suits, um, the lot, but that was rejected by the creative director on uh, numerous grounds. Huge thanks to KNF for concept for sending us these, and we'll be talking more about those later. Let us go. Gosh, it actually looks absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> Quick video shot and then I'm gonna have to put you folks on pause as I shoot some photos because I swear to God, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life.
Hope you enjoyed that little finale. Quick little uh, first impressions. The filters look absolutely insane. And to my surprise, they actually look better with indirect light sources. So I imagined that having the actual light source in the shots, like the sunlight coming through the leaves would be best, but actually the strength of the glow is, is, is really, really powerful. So it can be overpowering. But now that the sun's set, you've still got the highlights. As you can see, the little patches of highlights just look super soft and creamy. Yeah, 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 the diffusion's on. Oh, nice. I think that that's where it excels so I think that the half is probably a little bit strong for general use so I think the quarter is probably the sweet spot for us maybe the half is gonna be better for situations where it's like dark dark and like night time light street lights that kind of thing yeah and maybe if you want to get like like a proper dream look we're at 12,800 eyes so it's pretty dark now we're gonna go because I'm getting majorly creeped out by like these vibes Halloween vibes. Halloween uh, vibes, very much scary. <laughs> Just wanted to show you a little bit of an example with some like street lights because it looks so cool. Are we in a film? Dad come. Stranger Things. The Office. <laughs> Full there. She's full there, isn't she? Look at her. <laughs> Let's just quickly check if she's proud of that one. I'm happy. Imagine if we turned this into a drinking game and you had to take a shot every time I said the word cinematic. I was genuinely hoping to be able to give you more like unique pros and cons as to these filters. I just love them though. It's just simply, I love the look. I wasn't expecting it and was genuinely happy. They are a great tool for your filmmaking arsenal. Huge thanks to KNF Concept for sending us these. We are in love with them and we can highly recommend. They are affordable. We'll put a link in the description for you and you can also get 10% off with the code below. I might even now consider making this rap video because of them, because they look so sick. Comment down below if you wanna, if you wanna see that. Like and subscribe. Help us on our way to 3,000 subscribers. See you in the next one. I think it was cool. I think it was good. Yeah. I think the concept was there. To be honest, we haven't actually been out and filmed in probably nearly three weeks so i think we were a little bit rusty as well so hope it went well oh yeah because life update we have been back to the uk yeah for the last few weeks yeah that's right that's uh, which right. was the first time since january to see family and friends family. that was pretty sick um but that meant that yes our rap hollywood rap video had to go on pause it's been postponed but it will still come we'll see i'm working on it we'll see the alchemist It's not as if we've got like gorilla pods or anything like that, you know. That's a Shebra new. I have many of those in crypto. It's new Dogecoin people. Do you see what I'm doing there? I'm like hyping the market. I'm creating demand. You're creating demand for the Shiba in it. Yeah. Because <laughs> you've got big investments. Not big, big dollar and Shib. Look, there's Shib as well. He knows. <laughs>